Oh, hi and welcome to another video, another road trip. So this time it's February and well, mid-February and I'm heading down to Ravensthorpe which is on the south coast so I thought I'd head down there have a look around I'm going to head towards Albany once I get there and I've got a, a list of a few places that I wanted to have a look at on the way down there and once I get down there travel along the coast I've got the week so I can just take a little bit of time and maybe spend a couple of nights in one spot even. Some of the places I want to look at is Holt Rock, Lake King, and I'll get into Ravensthorpe, Jerramunga, and then I'll go down through Cape Rich. There's a campground there I want to have a look at. Chains Beach, Norman's Beach, Betty's Beach, and then into Albany, and then start heading back up towards York. So. We'll see what happens, it could be like the last one, ended up with four videos or it might end up one that might be really boring and freezing cold. I hope you enjoy it, get something out of it, stick around and we'll see what happens. Cheers! Well, it's Sunday morning and I'm off. Beautiful morning, uh, the weather forecast for up here is pretty much bloody hot. But down on the coast it's looking pretty good so heading out towards Hyden um, and I'm going via Quirating which is a lot quicker way so it's about just over a couple of hours to Hyden so I'll stop there and have a break maybe a cup of coffee and continue on from Hyden is where you turn off well there's a turn up for the books just after I recorded a, a little section of video out on the road I get a phone call from my wife in panic that the house next door is on fire and there's explosions so I've just roared home the fireys have just left you can see the damage along the fence on our side thankfully I keep it nice and clear but hard to see out in the trees but the trees are all black up there and we'll just get up over the fence and as you can see two cars and a rod or more have gone up so that was the fastest trip I've ever done home I was about 30 35 k's out and I was home thank god there's no radar traps out there but show you how close it gets that's their house my sheds right there we'll go and have a cuppa calm the wife down and get going again the fireys have just left so they did say they're going to come back later on and keep an eye on it onwards and upwards eh you never know Well, I'm at Condinan Lakes. I uh, haven't been out here before. Saw it on the map as I was coming past and I thought I'd come for a drive out. It's actually quite a lot of water in it. It doesn't 
indicate free camping out here or anything like that but there is camping in town where we've stayed at the little caravan park before we've actually part shire office so uh, thought i'd come out have a look i'd say it's uh, quite well used for water skiing and getting stuck in by the look of it so you want to be careful if it's uh, the wet season Definitely wouldn't drive down here any closer, it just feels a little bit squishy even under my foot there. Bit of broken glass. So yeah, an old frame for, as I say, it's probably had cover on it at some stage for a bit of a shelter. On the way out to the Salt Lake, there is a Pioneer Cemetery, so don't forget to stop in and have a look at that. 1910-1950 Anglicans, Methodists, Presbyterian, Roman Catholic, Baptist, Baptist I should say, and all others. Interesting one I just noticed here at the front, not actually in the cemetery. Nineteen thirty four, the unknown pauper. Well, the breeze has come up a bit. What's this one? Amy Gray Dyke and David Henry Dyke departed this life nineteen forty five for her and 1941 for him. Well, at least that breeze is helping keep the flies away. The salt lake is just over here in the background. But it's amazing what you come across just driving down roads and having the map going and seeing something of interest on it and just heading down there I think too many of us drive too fast to get to a destination and forget about the trip on the way Just arrived at Ravensthorpe, but it's about half past four in the afternoon, so it's time for a drink, I think. There's a free camp area or 
24 hour parking or 48 hour parking I think it is uh, in town a couple of sites down the bottom are nice and level but it is on a bit of an angle so I've had to put the ramps out on one side but it's fine plenty of trees for a bit of shade petrol station just across there pub across the road or community hall it's not a pub hospital just up the road so this will do me for the night we'll uh, have a drink first and and catch you shortly